Thanks for joining us. I'm Vince Vetrano. And I'm Susan Kim. A woman in Lake County, Illinois, is facing charges today, accused of reporting a fake tip in the search for three cop killers. 30-year-old Kristen Kiefer allegedly told police that she spotted two suspicious people in Volo, Illinois, last night. That's about five miles south of where Lieutenant Joe Glinowitz was killed on Tuesday morning. Authorities intensified the search overnight because of the tip until the woman admitted to detectives that it was a lie. She will stay in jail until a bond hearing. As officials search for new leads, the Fox Lake community continues to rally around the family of Lieutenant Glenowitz. The world got a little bit smaller with his passing. He will truly be missed by all of us. Thank you, everybody. And that is Melody Glinowitz, the widow of the fallen officer. She spoke at an emotional candlelight vigil in Fox Lake last night. Lieutenant Glinowitz left behind his wife and four sons. Contract talks continue between MCTS and the bus drivers union. A federal mediator is expected to step in to help both sides reach an agreement. MCTS and the bus drivers say they are trying to avoid another strike. Help feed the hungry by taking a simple picture. Today through Tuesday, if you post the picture of yourself wearing orange and holding a red Sendix bag, Sendix will donate $1 to Feeding America Eastern Wisconsin. Just hashtag the photo, Sendix Go Orange. It is all part of Feeding America's Hunger Action Month. Packers extra now. Packers getting ready for their final preseason game up at Lambeau Field tonight. Tuesday marked the last day of training camp practices for the Packers. The team officials trimmed the roster down to 75. The final 53-man roster has to be in on Saturday with a 3 o'clock deadline. Today's TMJ4 is your official Packers station. You can watch the game right here tonight. Our coverage begins at 5.30 kickoff set for 6 o'clock. After a steep climb in temperatures the past couple of days, hitting 90 on Tuesday, we hit 89 on Wednesday. So Tuesday is going to be the warm day of the week, and now we start the descent. A little bit cooler each day the next couple of days, and then warming up a little bit over the weekend. But the roller coaster continues, and it will take a major dip in temperatures next week. Typical after Labor Day. Temperatures this morning were in the upper 60s to lower 70s for the second morning in a row. Very humid conditions, light wind. Tough sleeping weather overnight if you don't have AC. Some cloud cover this morning because of some rain showers to the north of us and also a little bit of fog out over the lake. It is 70 and humid in Port Washington with that light westerly wind. Some heavy rain showers yesterday brought us some clouds in the afternoon. Those rain showers were to the north of us and then they moved into the Fox River Valley last evening. And this morning they dipped down into Fond du Lac, Sheboygan, and even parts of northern Washington County. The heaviest of the rain was towards Sheboygan, uh, Howard's Grove, Plymouth and Alcart Lake, but now basically as of 7 o'clock, just some sprinkles over Sheboygan and that'll be it for the morning hours. Could see a few more pop-up showers this afternoon. This morning, temperatures are in the lower 70s and even a few remaining upper 60s. And we have upper 60s for dew points, which is very humid. And we've been mentioning this now for the past couple of days. There is very dry air off to the west, but it can't get here. That cold front is stuck because of a very strong area of high pressure to our east, which is bringing us the warm, humid air. So while the temperatures may start dropping a little bit the next couple of days, the Humidity will not. It will stay very sticky outside through midday Monday. And then once that front finally pushes through, you'll see some relief in the humidity. So for today, we're starting off with the clouds. We'll get a little bit of hazy sunshine this afternoon. Could even see a few pop-up showers. I'd say 70% of us don't even see a drop of rain this afternoon, but there will be a few pop-up showers. Then we'll see uh, some fog overnight tonight, and then high pressure to our east will give us another sunny, but a little bit cooler day with those easterly winds off the lake. Our next chance of rain, as I mentioned, is Monday, as the next cold front finally gets to push into the upper Midwest and bring us some relief. We'll get a little relief tonight with temperatures dropping into the 60s. It'll still be very humid, though, that light northeast helping us cool things down just a little bit. And we'll keep the easterly wind tomorrow at 5 to 10. Look at these low to mid 70s along the lakefront. It'll be 78 in Milwaukee and then lower 80s in the inland areas with a few clouds. But otherwise, it's still very humid. If you're heading up to the Packers game tonight, it looks like this. 84 degrees for tailgating, 84 degrees. And by the end of the game, clear with a light breeze in 73. It will be humid around the area. Doing some traveling tomorrow around the state. 90 in La Crosse and even 80 up north. Look at the beautiful conditions. A little humid, though, uh, but that's typical for Labor Day. Then the seven-day forecast. 78 tomorrow, 82 on Saturday, 86 on Sunday. Great holiday weekend. It will be warm. It will be humid. Enjoy it because the cold front comes through on Monday. 70 by Wednesday, 60s in the next week.